The number of migrants detained at U.S. borders with Mexico and Canada fell in November, according to new reporting from Reuters. An official with U.S. Customs and Border Protection shared early numbers that show CBP detained 47,000 people last month. That's the lowest number since July 2020, when President-elect Donald Trump was in office and during the height of the COVID-19 pandemic. For people in Mexico, migration to the U.S. has become a fact of life, with millions of Mexicans and non-Mexicans having made the trek north. As people from other countries try to come through Mexico, headed to the U.S., polls show a growing number of Mexicans are upset about the rush of people from outside the country. A poll taken by the United Nations Refugee Agency in Mexico finds that 45 percent of Mexicans favored some level of limits on migrants. 32 percent said they should only be allowed to move quickly through the country, while 13 percent said Mexico should close its border entirely and deport those who come in. A USA Today piece out Monday highlights the growing anti-immigrant view in Mexico. Emilio Gonzalez Gonzalez, a migrant policy staffer at the U.N. agency that took the poll, told the paper that among the general public, the idea of diversity hasn't been normalized and that there are stereotypes and stigmas. President-elect Trump has asked Mexico to tighten its own enforcement of immigration law as part of his effort to crack down on migration. Another poll from last year by the nonprofit Oxfam found seven out of 10 Mexicans said they believed migration into Mexico was excessive. It's a reminder people from all over the world are entering Mexico first and then traveling through it to try to get into the United States. For Straight Arrow News, I'm Lauren Taylor. For all your latest news headlines, download the Straight Arrow News app or visit SAN.com.